Guys, so last month before Valentine's Day, I made a video basically stating that Nathaniel Parker is my first love, which he is. He is my first love, okay? It was love at first sight, okay? You can say that I'm crazy and delusional all you want, but you're you're just you're like not even in my shoes, so I would I just I just wouldn't if I were you. Um, because I'm at the point where I'm just gonna start pulling people's cards. But anyway, um so yeah, I made that video. I don't know if anything became of it. Have no idea, but I said a prayer. There's this one prayer that I say it goes, I'm calling upon all the angels of love to send love and contentment from high up above, help me value my worth, so then I can start to have faith in myself and find peace in my heart. Amen. And I've been saying that prayer a lot lately, especially last night. And then he appeared in my dreams. Nat Parker, there he was. Now, this isn't the first time he made an appearance recently. He's been pretty repetitive in my dreams lately, and I'm like, okay. So I'm wondering if, like, anything became of that video that I made on him, stating that he was my first love, and when I did see him in the Haunted Mansion, I fell head over heels, because I'm um, like, Oh my gosh, a sexy a sexy British guy with brown eyes and dark hair. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, so Yeah, that and that was my experience with Love at First Sight was Nat Parker, my first love. And then of course, now I had another love at first sight you know, with my current boyfriend that I'm with right now. And I never thought that I would experience that feeling again. <sighs> but love at first sight when you experience it, it's so indescribable because you can't describe it, you know. And some people can, like, dismiss, so it's like, oh, well, n you guys, unless you're in my shoes, you wouldn't fucking know how I'm feeling, so don't think you can, like, interpret that. You can't. Um, so, I don't know, he's, he's still a pretty good-looking guy, though, he's good-looking, he hasn't changed a bit, he's still handsome, and, yeah, you know, it's like... Even in his 50s, he's still a good-looking guy. And that's the, that's the truth of it all. That is the God's honest truth. And, man, wish I, wish I knew what was going on. I'm very spiritually attuned. And usually I don't have these kind of dreams unless I, like, say a certain prayer and then... You know, the prayer, I guess the prayer affects my dreams or whatever, whatnot. But yeah, I find that to be incredibly interesting. Um, anyway, peace out, everybody.